That champagne still smells wonderful. Regally wonderful. Anyway, uh, I want to show you something kind of interesting. And you can interpret this in your own way, and you can implement this in your own way when it might suit you. And it may suit you someday. If you have certain groups of queries that work really well when they do one thing, but not really well when they do another thing. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by that. Now, let's start off by making very, very sure that we are all clear about what context this database, what context, what database context that champagne may have smelt a little too good, what database context this query is taking place in. Let's also be quite sure that we understand which compatibility level these two queries are taking place in across these two databases. The master database is in compatibility level 150, and the stack overflow database is in compatibility level 140, 140. So master is in 2019, where we get all sorts of fancy things if we are on the most enterprising edition possible, like batch mode on row store. And uh, well, no, because scalar, scalar, scalar UDF inlining is, is, is both, both standard and enterprise. So I don't know. There's some other stuff in 2019 that I suppose is OK, too. I'm not sure what, though. Every time I install my computer, just blue screens, it's weird. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's fine. It's production ready. Go use it. Go crazy. And just to make extra sure, right? Like, I'm, I'm not kidding with you. We are in the master database. And yet, when I run this query to select a count of records from the post table in the Stack Overflow 2013 database, we get a very particular query plan. Now, if you've watched other videos of mine, you would know that this, this hash match aggregate to implement a global aggregate could only be done via a stream aggregate in prior versions of SQL Server. But with the, uh, the prolifer prolifer <laughs> proliferation of batch mode, this can now be a hash aggregate. We no longer have to use a stream aggregate. So this hash match aggregate is taking place in batch mode. That should be a vocal warm-up exercise. I'm going to tell my vocal coach about that. Hash match aggregate. As well as this clustered index scan are taking, taking place in batch mode. So the hash match aggregate is batched. Said that fast, didn't I? And that's interesting because the Stack Overflow 2013 database is in 140 compat level where batch mode on row store should not be possible. This is, this, if we look at the, the storage Shut up, emergency. If you look at the storage, this is row store. And we're not doing any tricky stuff like joining to another table with a clustered column store index it under something to, uh, to, to get batch mode happening. This is a natural occurrence within the query, right? If we, it's just, just happens, right? It's nice. It's cool. So great. We have this thing happening. Now, if we come over here and we very, very clearly use the Stack Overflow database and we, and we reiterate the fact that the Stack Overflow database is in 140 compat level and we look at masters and then we only run the query in the context of the Stack Overflow database and we actually get the query plan. Good, good job, me. Uh, we have a different execution plan, don't we? we? We see that stream aggregate that was only, that had to be used in prior versions or... or not in prior versions of SQL Server, just in, in, in the context of a row store only query. So that's that. And uh, you may find this to be an attractive option if you have a group of, let's say, reporting queries that you can uh, execute from another database context that's in compatibility level 150 against another database, maybe that's tr more transactional in nature in, the com in, a co in compatibility level 140, so that we don't have to worry about hinting and changing all sorts of stuff. We can just change the, we can just execute from a slightly different context and still get all the benefits of the uh, optimization, the compatibility level and the optimizer abilities of the, the database where the query originates. So, Take that as you will. Implement it as you must. Uh, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this thankfully much shorter video so I, my champagne doesn't get warm. Well, I, and I, I, don't, I don't like the smell of warm champagne, especially on camera. Thanks for watching.